We're here at Beltany Stone Circle, which is believed to be three and a half thousand years old. That's the uh, date the archaeologists have given for it. And we're next to one of the largest stones in the monument. Uh, this one is about seven and a half foot tall above ground, and it's believed it goes about four or five feet below ground as well, and weighs in excess of about 14 tons. Most of the average weights of the stones in the circle here are in excess of four tons. So you're looking at uh, quite an awful lot of rock moved into this area with no discernible use of machinery. The big question is always how did they do it? We're, we're not really here to answer that. We're more or less here to marvel at the fact that it was done. By Take a look in the centre of the circle here. Got debris from years of farming where people have moved rubble and rock taken up from the fields during uh, activities and planted it in the centre of the circle. This would not have been here originally. And some of the stones on the original ring have been knocked over and, uh, and, and laid flat, but interesting they haven't been removed. Some sites like this have always been subject to the removal of material over the years, everything from castles in Ireland to stone circles, to individual standing stones and fields being removed, particularly in the 18 and early 1900s. Here, however, there seems to have been an upheld reverence for the site where most of its original material hasn't been removed. Now, in the centre of the circle here, a number of different items have been discovered over the years. One in particular, a carved stone head, which was uh, believed to be dated from Celtic times, which was discovered in here next to some burnt remains, uh, burnt human remains, that is. But uh, other than that, not very much else has been discovered here due to the fact that it hasn't been extensively excavated. Which is interesting to note since the majority of our archaeological sites in Ireland have never been. They've been catalogued and designated as being in existence, but they've never actually been properly excavated. So the wealth of archaeological knowledge, information and materials that are yet to be discovered, possibly even beneath my feet today, is still there for the taking. And at some stage in the future we could see really interesting things come out of sites like this.